So one more time, I want to talk to you about being born again. Nicodemus came up to Jesus in John chapter 3, came to him by night. He began this conversation with him. Jesus shifted the conversation around to uh, talking about being born again and how we need to be born again by, uh, by faith, putting our faith in Jesus. Jesus as the sacrifice and putting our faith and faith and uh, trust in him alone. And even Nic Nicodemus even understood what Jesus was saying here when he talked about being being born again. He didn't get it, but he understood it because he said, how can we enter into our mother's womb and be born again? And Jesus said, that's not what I'm talking about. He says, you first have to be born of the flesh, be given these fleshly bodies, and then you have to be born of the spirit. And so Nicodemus, being a teacher of the law, he should have understood this. He should have gotten this. He should have comprehended it because even the Old Testament taught about this very truth. See, God's word never changes. God made Methods. God, God, God's means it never changes. God has always intended for us to be saved by faith. And he's always told us that this day is coming. And so through the prophet Ezekiel, Ezekiel says in Ezekiel chapter 36, beginning in verse 25, he said, then I will sprinkle clean water on you and you will be clean and I will cleanse you from all of your filthiness and from your idols. Now, some of you are saying, aha, right there is the talking about baptism. No, he said, I'm going to sprinkle the water in you. Well, on you, what is baptism? Baptism is not sprinkling. Baptism is immersion. That's what the very word baptism means. We're not, we're not sprinkled. Usually when the word sprinkled is, is used, it's talking about a sacrifice right here. And so how are we clean? We're clean by the blood of Christ. We're, we're, we're washed by the washing of, of the word of God. We're, we're renewed and regenerated by the Holy Spirit. And so he says, here, I'm going to clean you. It's not through baptism. The baptism isn't going to clean you. It's only your faith and your trust in the Lord Jesus Christ because he died for sins once and for all. And so through his sacrifice and his sacrifice alone and by you placing your faith and your trust in his sacrifice, is that going to clean you? And then he says in verse 27, he said, I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes. He said, I'm going to put my spirit in you. So that which is born of flesh is flesh and that which is born of spirit is spirit. John said, I've come to baptize you with water, but one is coming greater than I am that's going to come and baptize you with the Holy Spirit. Who is that? It's Jesus. And Jesus paid the price to do that on the cross of Calvary. And now when we place our faith and trust in him, we're born again. And when we're born again, he puts his spirit within us. Now, again, I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes. You see, Nicodemus thought that all of his legalizing ways, all of his works, all of his good deeds, all of those things would cut it, but it didn't. We can't walk for God unless we have the Spirit of God. And when we have the Spirit of God, he will cause you to walk in my statute, statutes and observe all of my ordinances. And apart from the Spirit of God, you can't see the kingdom of heaven and you can't enter the kingdom of heaven. You just can't. You have to be born again. And then Ezekiel says in verse 26, moreover, I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you. A new heart, a new heart. You're born again. I'll, I'll give you a new heart and I'll put a new spirit within you and I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. So I'm going to give you a new spirit and I'm going to give you a new heart. That which is born of flesh is flesh. That which is born of spirit is spirit. I'm going to do away with that old stuff. You're going to die to it. And I'm going to give you a brand new spirit and I'm going to give you a brand new heart in Christ Jesus, our Lord. 
Again, baptism can't save us. Titus chapter three verse five says he saved us not on the baptiz- uh, I'm sorry, not on the basis of deeds which we have done in righteousness. So not on the basis of deeds which we have done in righteousness. But he says right here, but according to his mercy, we're saved by his mercy. We're saved by his grace. But look, look what he says right here. He said we're born of the water. And of the spirit, Jesus said that, John 3, verse 5. But look what Titus says right here, almost repeating what Jesus says right here. By the washing of regeneration and renewing by the Holy Spirit. We're not reborn by good works and good deeds, not even deeds of righteousness, but by his mercy, And by the washing and the renewing, the Bible says, by the Holy Spirit through his work of regeneration. The regenerating work of the Holy Spirit were born again, given a brand new heart, given a brand new spirit, God's spirit, so that we can walk according to his ordinances. Apart from that, we don't comprehend the things of God. Apart from the Holy Spirit, we can't comprehend the things of God. Apart from the Holy Spirit, we're not even going to see the things of God. It's going to be foolishness to us. We can't see the kingdom of God. We can't enter the kingdom of God. But we have to be washed, renewed, regenerated, remade, reborn by the Spirit of God which was all made available through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, through his death, his burial, and his resurrection. And what we have to do is believe on Jesus. Believe on him. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. That's being born again. And friends, that's good news, great news, wonderful news. Would you share this news with others so they can hear, receive, and believe? What time is it? It's time to share the good news.